Hi, we're in the Axiom Anacoic Chamber today and we're going to talk about something called a port plug. And the reason we're doing this video is we recently started shipping our newest model, the M100, and it's the first model of ours that comes with port plugs. Now, a port plug, as its name suggests, is simply something that will plug one of the ports, keeping air from moving in and out of the cabinet. And there are a number of reasons why you would want to use these, and we're going to be offering them as an accessory on the website for some of our other models, so I'll speak about where you might also want to use them on models other than the M100. So basically, when you place a loudspeaker in a room, if it has to be close to any of the room boundaries, such as the back wall or the side walls, you get something called boundary reinforcement happening. And what will happen is that that will tend to accentuate the mid-bass frequencies. Now, you can easily end up with a speaker like the M100 that has very, very good low frequency extension and output capability. You can end up with too much of a good thing in those environments. Also, if you're in a small listening environment or a small listening room, you can also find, because everything is closer to the boundaries, that you'll also get that mid-bass accentu accentuation, which is sometimes can be too much of a good thing and will actually make things sound really, really slow and, and congested. So we've offered on the M100 three port plugs that come with it, and really we suggest that you listen to the speaker, set it up, listen to it without any of the plugs in place for a week or two, then add one plug at a time. In the M100, we suggest adding them in the bottom three rear ports, and Every time you add a plug, listen for a few days again and listen for how the bass character changes. Now, this is very much something that's room dependent and it's also dependent on your personal listening tastes. Some people may actually like that bass accentuation. So, there's no right or wrong uh, answer as to whether you should use the port plugs, but they are there as an option if you find the speaker has too much of that mid bass. Now, I mentioned earlier that we're going to be offering these port plugs as an accessory on the website, and there's a couple of other situations where you may want to look at using them. If you, for instance, purchase one of our bookshelf models, like the M2, M22, or M3, they all have rear ports. If you are planning on mounting those speakers on our full metal bracket up on a wall, Again, now it's sitting next to a boundary, so you get that same reinforcement. In that case, you might want to try using the port plugs to plug those rear ports. It might give you smoother, smoother bass response. Also, if you're going to be putting a bookshelf speaker on a bookshelf or in a cabinet of some sort, you get the same sort of boundary gain in the mid-bass frequencies. That's another case where you might want to look at buying a couple of port plugs and trying them out. It just might give you a smoother and more linear sound quality. Thank you very much.